Hello, this is Devin from WordPress Theming, and I wanted to talk about how to use FeedBurner to send out podcast emails, which will also be picked up by iTunes. And the project I was working on most recently was with um, a local Portland author who had done a number of readings from his book, short audio snippets, and he wanted to send those out to subscribers on a weekly basis. Um, and his audio sounded a little like this. You are in divine order. Always remember this and understand all that it implies. So the idea of the emails was just to form a relationship with his fans and his readers and um, tell them more about the book and, and let them hear, hear it and hopefully um, be interested enough to, to purchase it. And the way they would sign up is or do sign up is get audio emails um, and this takes them to the feed burner page where they enter their email address and once they activate that they get the emails um, they can also subscribe via iTunes and when they click there it opens up iTunes um, and downloads the most recent one that's gone out um, they can get the other ones and this will be continually updated um, as he does more of the audio emails how this is set up through FeedBurner is we actually have two feeds. Um, the first one is the main feed for the website. Um, so if Jack was also doing blog posts, they would go out um, on this main feed. Um, but we wanted to give people the option of just doing, um, just getting the audio emails, the audio snippets. So we created another feed for that category. Um, and to enable it to send out the emails you actually need to click on publicize and click on email subscriptions um, and activate that in FeedBurner and when you do that it'll give you a little bit of code that you can um, embed in your website somewhere which will enable people to subscribe that way um, in order to enable it for iTunes you need to click on SmartCast and activate that and you can put in the information for iTunes to pick up. In terms of WordPress, how you set this up is you need to enable a few plugins. Um, one of those plugins is so that you can play uh, audio on the website. Um, I would recommend using the audio player. Um, for this one, I ended up using the podcasting plugin, which I'm it's weird because I'm not actually using the podcasting functionality, I'm just using it as an audio player. Um, and then the other one you need to do is FeedBurner. Um, where is that? FeedSmith plugin. And if you just want one category, you can get that one directly from the, um, the repository. But if you want to have multiple categories, you need to um, download the one that I have linked in the website. Um, and you can see here in the feed burner settings that we, we burned um, the audio emails feed separately from the other feed. And that's what that hacked version allows you to do. In terms of posts, every time um, Jack publishes one of these posts, it gets sent out as the audio email. So he's scheduled a bunch in advance here, so he doesn't have to do this on a daily basis. And let me show you one of the emails. They basically look like this. They have the, the blog here. Um, we did a little branding, which is also set through FeedBurner. Um, click here to listen to the audio. will take you to um, the audio category, the audio emails category, and display all the ones that we've done. Um, the other thing in here is you can download the audio. Um, and that's not something we included by choice. You needed to, we need to have the, um, a direct link to the MP3 so that iTunes picks it up. Um, so if we look back here in WordPress and look at one of these posts, you'll see that the links here um, for the email, this is to play the audio on the website. Um, this is information Jack wanted to include. And then we have the download, the audio link. Um, 
when you view this post, you'll see all that information except for the click here to listen to the audio. Because I wanted that just to be in the email, but not actually on the website. Um, so if you look in the source, I just have a, a class on there that says feed burner link, and that's um, set to display none, so it doesn't actually show up when you view. Um, so that's the quick and dirty overview of how to use FeedBurner um, with WordPress and iTunes. Um, it's a little bit complicated um, for sure, and that's why I wrote out this long uh, post about it. Um, but if you're able to use it and uh, find it useful, that's great. Uh, leave the link and um, other people can check it out and get your audio emails um, and uh, be interested to hear how that goes for everyone. And if you have any other questions about what I did or how I made this happen, feel free to send me an email. Um, I'm glad to share the information. Uh, thanks so much and happy podcasting and I uh, hope it all works out for you well.